Hello all, my name is Calvin Hollywood and uh, this is my first English video tutorial. I know my name sounds like an American but I'm a German and um, I just speak uh, school English and uh, when I went to school at a long time ago, so sorry for my bad English, I will try my best. In uh, this video tutorial I like to show you how I get details. If you know my pictures, uh, you will see a uh, high contrast and many details. And in this uh, movie, in this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how you will get this kind of details. I use a double raw convertation. And the first step um, is um, the first raw convertation. That's a simple raw convertation, uh, nothing special. The one thing uh, what you have to uh, think about is um, that you don't uh, open the raw file in Photoshop um, normally. You have to put uh, or to press the shift key and then uh, you will see um, uh, here is uh, open object. Um, a picture object turns into open object and when you now open the raw file in Photoshop you will get a smart object. That's uh, very good because uh, now you can uh, change uh, whenever you like back in the in the raw dialog. With the double click on that layer you will get back in the raw file. So you can uh, make changes here and if you don't like the changes you uh, can uh, go back in the raw dialog and uh, do here the changes what you like. So we have the first convertation that nothing special, just a normal convertation. And now I like uh, to duplicate the layer, but not uh, like layer duplicate. I like to uh, um, new smart object uh, through copy. I don't know the English uh, dialogue here. Um, not layer duplicate. And if you use this dialog, you can uh, do the changes in, on the second layer, see? And the, change, the changes are just effect on the second layer, not on both layer. If you duplicate the first layer and do then the changes, the changes will affect on both layers. And uh, we have now uh, use the dialog new smart object uh, copy and then the changes um, just effect on the second layer here. Okay, what we like to do now is to do a high contrast black and white picture. I like to use the color from the first layer. And I like to use the contrast from this layer, from the second convertation. And we have some dialogues here um, to get more contrast. We have here clarity, if you raise that up. We have fill light. And if you uh, uh, do the black um, uh, uh, dialogue here, put it uh, to the right, you will get a HDR effect um, but you see the color uh, isn't very good so um, uh, raise down the uh, color. We need uh, a black and white picture with high contrast. Okay so we take a look and this layer we change the blend mode. We uh, like to have the contrast from this from this layer, but we like to have the color from the first convertation. So set this layer into luminosity. And now you will see you will get many, many details. I don't like the effect uh, like this. I like to do some changes. I Set down the exposure and uh, uh, not so much fill light. You have to try here around a bit. And yeah, that's much better. So we use now a black mask um, to hide this layer. 
And now we can paint the details back in the picture. I use uh, around 30%, no, I raise 60%. And now we can uh, paint the details back in the picture here. If you have a picture with a great background, a wall or something else, a house with uh, many details, uh, this technique uh, is very good to uh, yeah, raise the details. See? Before, after. Before, after. And this is my um, technique if I like to get details. I will show you now the finished picture with uh, some more color correction and uh, dodging and burning. But uh, I started with this kind of uh, technique to get the details. I hope you understand all. I know my English is bad. And uh, let me know, uh, let me know, write a comment uh, under this uh, film, under this uh, video tutorial, if you like to see more. So, have fun. Bye.